Hello everyone, I'm Will Whittingham from A Hit Marker up here in Newcastle and a massive thank you for inviting us to speak at this event. A massive apology from the entire Hit Marker team that we couldn't be there in person today, but hopefully this video keynote will be able to help you out as much as us being there in person would have. So what are we talking about today and why should you care sitting in the audience about what we're going to be uh, discussing? Well. We're going to be talking about esports jobs and esports as a career because the dream of a lot of people, I imagine a lot of you at home and in the audience, will be wanting to potentially turn esports into your full time job to be able to be part of esports and get paid to do so. And while that might seem like a crazy dream to a lot of you, it's the reality for a load of people um, all around the world, including everyone here at Hitmarker. But why should you listen to me? Why does my, what I have to say matter um, to you at home? Well, I imagine that I was, well, I know I was in the position that a lot of you are in right now. You're just about to leave school, potentially going on to university, or you're leaving and going to start looking for work in a few months' time. And you have a passion for esports, but maybe don't know exactly what you want to be doing in the space. You don't know what your job is going to look like past really wanting it to be part of competitive gaming. And for those of you um, who are in that position, it's absolutely fine. I was there too. You've got a little bit of time to work it out, especially if you're going to university, you'll have three or four years to work it out. But we're just gonna be discussing how you can find your place in esports, whether it's right for you. Spoiler alert, it probably is. And we're also gonna have a little chat with the parents and the carers and guardians of people who are at that point in their careers because Esports from the outside can often not look like the perfect place to work. If you're not the best at the video game or you're not the best at casting or talent, it looks like you're the person going into esports might not be the best fit. But just like a lot of other areas of work, there's plenty of jobs to go around in lots of different sectors that you might not have considered. So we're just going to be talking a little bit about the numbers behind the esports sector as well to show that it's exactly where you can make your career and make a really good living as well. So a little bit about myself, I um, went to school, I graduated from school and then went on to university um, where I studied politics and international relations, which is not something that I currently do for my job. I moved on to do um, some freelance broadcast production for a year before joining Hitmarker in early 2020. And I've been here for about 18 months, I'm old, 18 months, goodness me. Um, but that's where I am now. It's been an absolutely crazy ride and I'm hopeful that the lessons that I learned, sometimes uh, quite difficult lessons that I learned in this career journey, I can pass on to you so you don't make the same mistakes as me and you have an excellent opportunity to get yourselves a great start in your esports career. So how can I make a living off of esports? Well, this is a question we get asked all the time. We get emails and messages almost every day asking, how can I get into esports? How do I get an esports job? How can I make my living from esports? And the answer is, it comes down to esports is not a job. You can't just say, my dream job is esports, right? You, you would always say, if you were asked, what is your dream job? It might, you might say something in esports, um, but you wouldn't ever say just esports. And it's very similar to thinking about what you might want to do if you're not in, if you weren't allowed to get a job working with video games or competitive gaming, what kind of thing you'd want to do. Because you can get so many different jobs in esports that just wanting to work in gaming isn't really enough to um, help you discover your future career. So to put this in perspective, um, as of the 17th of June, 2021, we had 644 esports jobs available for those people in the UK. So that's if uh, the job is based in the United Kingdom um, or if the job is remote United Kingdom or remote anywhere, because obviously you can work a job that's remote anywhere if you're in the UK. Um, and that number rises to 2,393 jobs if you expand it into the more video game centric world. So you look at game development and stuff like that, as opposed to just esports. That is loads of jobs that you can apply for. And you, it's, it's pretty clear that there aren't that many competitive gamers um, who are earning a full-time living in just the UK 
um, with those many jobs available. And some of the top sectors in esports, if you're just looking at what you want to be doing as a career, won't be that surprising. But if you're thinking about esports specifically, they might be a little bit. So there's stuff like um, social media, software um, development, which makes some sense in esports if you look at it from the outside. But then there's stuff like marketing, business and sales, just general management jobs. Esports is an industry much like any other, and people need partnerships and business development people to help their organization earn money or their company get new sponsors. Every company pretty much needs marketing in order to develop their brand, show off what their products are, get new users onto their platform, get new supporters for their team. It's not about wanting to just work in esports. It's about what you want to do as your career and then finding your spot in esports through that. You could be going to university to be studying um, finance. You can go there to study business. You can go there to study marketing. Once you've graduated with your degree, much like if you were going to go into a more traditional industry, esports has a place for you. Esports needs data analysts. Esports needs accountants. They need marketing. They need salespeople. So think about what you want to be doing for your job, like what you want to be doing day to day in a role. And then think about how that links to either the degree you're going to study or what you studied at school um, if you're not going into university. And look at those skill set, go on Hitmarker, have a little search of those skills, and you'll find plenty of jobs in esports, loads of entry level jobs and junior jobs in esports that will be asking for similar kinds of skills. And that could help develop and lead you to exactly where you should be um, in esports. And the other thing that I would say, if you're someone who maybe hasn't studied things or you're not planning on studying anything related to what you want to be doing in your future career. I, I studied politics at university. I went there, I loved the three years at university, knew I never wanted a job in politics after graduating. Think about what you're passionate about, what you like doing in your free time, because you could be developing skills outside of your education or work experience that will be super useful going forward. Do you spend loads of time on social media developing your own brand? Are you a budding artist, a budding writer? Do you enjoy doing this stuff in your free time? Because again, these skills can translate into a job that you could be doing full time on graduation of school or university. So it's not just a case of looking professionally what you do, but thinking about what you like doing in life and what you're good at in life, because developing those skills and showing off those skills in applications is going to be where you find your place in esports as a career, as opposed to just saying, I want to work with video games all day. Because, spoiler alert, I work in esports full time. I've never played less video games um, than I currently do, just because you don't want to take your work home with you quite often. Um, now let's move on to chatting a little bit about um, to, the, to the adults in the room. So those who have children, that you look after that are leaving school, going to university, considering esports as a career. And you could be quite skeptical. I know that my parents, uh, when I first broached the subject of wanting to work in competitive gaming for my career, were a little bit um, reserved on terms of not knowing if it was right for me and not knowing if it was a stable industry to be working in. But much like traditional sports, uh, Hollywood, those kind of things, Every area has gone through a period of growth where initially people were skeptical that it was gonna be around, but we're still watching films 100 or so years later and video gaming and competing in video games, I don't think is going anywhere. There has to be some kind of, um, you have to set expectations a little bit. Um, unless your child is the top very high percentage of players at a game, it's unlikely that they're going to be a professional uh, gamer. There's the opportunity that they could do, and the teams need to be filled with talent from somewhere, but that shouldn't be their only motive. They shouldn't just want to play gaming full time. They shouldn't just want to sit down and play video games 24 seven, because that's not always realistic. The same as if they want to be a influencer or streamer, you have to be so dedicated to so many different skills, just playing games in front of a camera all day isn't really going to cut it, unfortunately. And as much as that's the fun part of the job, every job is fun parts of it, but a lot of jobs will also have 
a lot of stuff that isn't, they're not going to sit down and go, yes, you want to be a social media manager, posting memes and interacting with other brands. That's awesome. There's a lot of admin and strategy around that one as well. I can tell you from experience, which isn't the most fun I've ever had in a work environment. They want to work in broadcast production. You want to be an observer. You get to watch video games for your job. Yes, that's amazing. There's an awful lot of time where you're just doing basic admin or saving and moving stuff around, a little bit of software development in there as well. It's not always the most glamorous or exciting life, um, but it's definitely a fulfilling one. And there are certainly, as we've already said, plenty of jobs that someone who's wanting to enter the industry can do. So you should never sit there and say, this is something that your child cannot do, because the, the young person can do whatever they want. They have, if they can develop the skills and they're committed to growing what they can do and they know what they want to do, then they're more than able to achieve it the same way they would in any other industry. We like to believe anyway. And as we say, even if they're not gonna be the world's next biggest streamer or biggest player, they may well be someone who works in marketing. They may well be someone who helps develop the next big brand or helps design the next big announcement graphic, edits the next huge video from the top streamers. So even if you can't see them being that number one front of face talent, there's still plenty of careers, very successful careers um, that they can go into. So never count out esports. Um, we wouldn't want you to do that. So in conclusion, what should you be doing? How can you action all this stuff? How can you get your career in esports going? Well, check out Hitmarker. Even if you're not looking to get your job right now, if you're going to university, you've got a couple of years before you need to worry about finding that job. Um, you can still be looking at what is available in the industry. Esports is constantly evolving, constantly growing, constantly changing. And being able to watch that and see that flow you'll be able to start developing the skills of the future before anyone else. And the best place to find that is where companies are looking for it in their job postings. And if you're looking for a job right now, or you're looking for part-time freelance remote stuff while you're studying or while you're at school even, you can also check out the opportunities on there because there's plenty of roles that you could be doing alongside education as well. And you'll be able to see exactly what you want to be working towards building that resume, building your experience and setting yourself up really well for when you leave education and want to find your first full-time job. That's all we've got time for today. We won't take up any more of your time because there's going to be some pretty awesome gaming tournament uh, content coming up right now. So if you're playing in the events today, massive congratulations for getting this far and we wish you really, really well in those games. Try not to feed. And if you're watching at home or in the stadium, we look forward to seeing you all on our site pretty soon. And we can't wait to see what you achieve in esports. From everyone here at Hit Marker, thank you again for inviting us British Esports Association. Thank you very much for listening and we'll see you soon.